Hi guys, Chris here from Ruff of Course, and in my previous video we unboxed this little, uh, the new WAE booster pack. If you want to see the contents of this, uh, this pack, then be sure to check the previous video. I will probably put a link somewhere in a card up top. But now it's time to open the first pre-constructed deck from Ruff of Course, WAE, which is set 2. And the first deck we're going to be opening is this one which is called the Deck of the Ages. Now the Deck of the Ages is a black and white deck, dual coloured, and it's basically, it's very similar to the way um, how the Deck of Honour worked in the first set with, with a lot of humans involved, however there's a completely different theme to the humans and um, well, obviously the cards, the mechanics of the cards are going to be different. Uh, but basically this is the main character in the deck He's called Leo, and he's basically like the lord of the kingdom, which is called Haran. And basically him and his wife, uh, Sisanthi, basically um, rule the kingdom. So, this deck is based, what you've got to do is basically, um, you've got a lot more weapon, uh, a lot more battle and action cards in this deck than you have weapons. And basically you just want to pump up your cheap units and get them to a reasonable size and just attack all out straight out nice and fast oh you have to pardon my uh, voice if it goes i've just had some super spicy noodles and my lips are on fire so let's get to this unboxing oh. so as you can tell straight away the box to this is a lot bigger than the typical uh, poker size deck. Now this is basically the tarot size box and you'll see why in a second. So looking at the box you've got obviously the front, you've got the contents on the side, you've got a quick description on the deck on the back, details about what a pre-constructed deck is and then you've got part of a homemade TCG community on top and the logo on the bottom. Let's get this thing open. So, this now comes with a new book, obviously your cards. Now when the GameCraft package came, uh, these should have been in the, in the deck boxes, but I've altered it a little bit now, so they should be in the deck boxes. It also comes with a die. And, which I think is pretty cool, elements. So you will no longer now have to use coins or source multiple things or get confused as to what colours you've got. Basically, pre-constructed decks will come with these awesome little uh, elements that you can have. So here we've got some black elements and some white elements. And of course, the other deck will come with red and blue elements. So I think this is pretty cool. You get all this included. And obviously the rule guide of the book is dedicated to Deck of the Ages. So obviously the other one's going to be dedicated to the Deck of Fire and Ice. Uh, and there will also be some rules in this book as well. Uh, compared to the tiny little booklets what you get. Uh, this will just basically hold more information. So we're going through this little booklet now. So as you can see, it's uh, text is pretty cool, uh, it's nice, it's easy to read, it's not too small. And basically you've got an introduction to the deck, you've got the two main characters in the deck. This is moving on to some of the rules, so you've got parts of the card. Um, obviously everything arrowed is described underneath at the bottom. Extra abilities. Uh, you've got a couple of um, like triggered abilities down here and basically what the different wordings mean. This is the play area. So this is how you would set up a, a game if you've not got the mat. And don't forget this, this will also come with a download for a mat, what you can print off of your computer. Then you've got the type of cards, continued, your core, core abilities, it's got everything you need to know, elements, deck limits, how many commons, rares, uncommons, royalty rares you can have, how to set up a game, 
players' turns, the start phase, the main phase, we're only halfway through the book, the battle phase, active player, the battle phase, battle abilities, goes on, end phase, and now this is pretty cool. We've got some deck combos, and this is the bit I was on about which was dedicated to um, the deck of the ages. So you've got deck combo here, deck combo here, deck combo here, this is more of a stack combo to be fair. And then you've got the final page, which is basically thank you for your custom, um, enjoy your battles, and you've got a cool little area here where you can write some notes on. And of course the back page has got some notes on as well. So that is pretty cool. Got a die, got all our little elements. Now this is what you want. Five minutes in, and we're going to be getting through this deck. So, here we go. This is our new cavern. You can see we've got the new borders, common, you've got card IDs, the element it generates, another cavern, bog, the meadow, the new steps, steps again, minus shaft. So this is the first relic. When the stack generates an element, you may choose a new colour for that element. Not too bad. Training grounds, it's another relic. The unit on this stack gains 300 attack. Sharp sword, unit gains 100 attack. Amulet of Esteem. Now this is a pretty cool um, example of these new text boxes. So. Obviously this is uh, got a brown background because that's what an uncommon is and obviously when it's a rare it's a gold background and when it's a royalty rare it's a blue background. Now this amulet only costs two elements to get out. It's a, um, basically it gives a health boost to the unit it's on, if I can more focus. And then you can also choose to destroy this uh, weapon whenever you like to draw a card. So it's got a nice little, <coughs> pardon me. Uh, uh, wall trap is another relic. You can only destroy this relic during battle and when you decide to defend with no units. Uh, so when you when you do destroy this relic, it deals 200 damage to all attacking units. <laughs> Recruitment, uh, a free to play card. Reduce the play cost of any one unit in your hand by one element of any color. Heavy Ballista, so here's our rare, you can see it's got a gold background here. Heavy Ballista costs 5 elements, it's got the ranged ability. Misses on a 1 to a 2, hits on a 3 to 5, and on a 6 it hits, destroy any weapon or relic in play. It's an 800-400 body. Local Farmer, we saw this one in the booster pack. Lancer, Dual Blade Soldier. This is the core, core of lost time. 6900 health, white element, card 1. At the start of each of your turns you may charge this core, so it charges um, on every one of your turns. Use 5 charges to pick a card at random from your opponent's hand and place it back on top of their deck. Uh, you can kind of see how it twists time back a little bit. Gavin, Bog, Bog, Meadow, Steps, Reinforced Defences, uh, another Relic. The unit on this stack gains 100 attack and 100 health. Minus shaft. Fountain of Ages, this is another relic. You cannot use this relic ability on the turn it enters play, but you can choose to discard two cards to draw a card. Sharp Sword. Betrayal, a rare action card, so it's four elements. <clears throat> Your opponent may reveal a unit, a unit from their hand. Deal 800 damage to a unit in play, minus the revealed unit's attack power. This value cannot go below zero. Hmm. If it wants to focus... Hunting trucks. You may play any one unit from your hand as though it had the ambush ability. Another recruit. Spirit catcher. This is good against elemental decks. Um, basically, if you roll a 5, it deals 200 damage to any one elemental unit. 
If it rolls six after battle, you gain control of one elemental unit. <coughs> Local farmer. Trained phalanx. Dual blade soldier. And here's our royalty rare, Leo, Lord of Haran. Costs four elements to get out. 500, 500 body. Hits on a one to a three. Four to a five is a hit. This unit gains 100 HP this battle. And if you get a six, you hit. Reduce your opponent's damage pool by uh, 300 for this battle. Which is pretty cool. Peace Fields is a special terrain. The unit on this terrain cannot attack or defend and cannot be targeted by your opponent. So it's good if you want to move a unit into this because don't forget you can move units adjacently to terrains. <coughs> Cavern, Bog, Meadow, Meadow, Steps, Defences, Training Grounds, Fountain of Ages, Amulet of Steam, Wall Trap, Hunting Tracks. Uh, the wonder for this deck is the Relief of Minerva. Reduce all damage dealt to your units by 100. Spirit Catcher, Lancer, Trained Phalanx, and finally Sisanthi the Beauty. 400-400 uh, body for three elements, I believe. Yep, three elements. Uh, static ability. All, all your other units in play gain 100 health. She only misses on a 1, but every, everything else is a hit. Okay guys, so that is the deck of the ages. As you can see, um, you rely, you actually rely quite a bit on the likes of um, the relics, because the relics are pretty cool. They, they can be a bit of a, tricky to get rid of if you're playing against these relics, unless you've got uh, cards what you know, actively destroy relics, but there's not that many in the game, to be fair. So once you've got a couple of relics out, uh, you've got a very nice boost for any units uh, to go on to, on your terrains. As well as that, if you mix along the um, static ability of Sisanthi to give, to give every other unit a health boost, uh, get Leo's ability to reduce your opponent's damage pool, it's actually it actually seems to be quite a nice deck to play with. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video guys, um, I mean the game will be going up very shortly, well the second set will be going up very shortly on uh, the Game Crafter, uh, I just wanted to get this video out of the way first, and I will be making an, a, another video of the deck of fire and ice uh, after this video. Okie dokie guys, so let me know what you think, if you can think of any decent combos already, um, cough PDF TCG cough, then be sure to let me know. Uh, let me know what you think about these little di these little elements. Uh, you know, obviously you, you play them on your terrain whenever you generate. You got an awesome little, well, I dare say little, but you get a pretty cool uh, large booklet, which has got everything you need to know, um, as well as the size of a box. You know, it's a reasonable size box to put stuff in. So, hey guys, that's everything. Uh, thanks a lot for watching, and I shall see you in my next video.